Hi everyone, welcome back. If you do not know, my name is Devin here on my channel, I cover all things beauty. That includes makeup, fragrance, and designer here and there. If you think that is something you'll be interested in, then I hope you stay and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you're notified every week when I upload. And in today's video, we are doing a tropical haul, you guys. Yes, I got a ton of brand new tropical items from Bath & Body Works. Now, I also am going to be doing a separate haul featuring some of the new Easter body care as well as some other new body care that they had out in a different video. So stay tuned for that. In today's video, we are strictly talking tropical, okay? So if you guys are interested and want to see what I think about some of these new scents and repackages, then just keep watching. All right, so I have to tell you guys, initially I was not excited for Tropical. I wasn't because I feel like they come out with the same exact scents every single year and I get tired of them. And honestly, a lot of these you can pick up at Summer SAS. Like it'd be so much left over by the time Summer, S Summer SAS rolls around that you probably won't even need to pick up any of these because i'm sure one you already have these in your collection because a lot of these are not new now i do have three of the brand new scents and we're going to get into that in a minute but um they bring back the same scents almost every single year this year all they did was add a island name in front of it it's a lot of the same stuff so we're gonna run through really really quickly the ones that are old and the ones i already had in my collection we're gonna go ahead and start with the ones that come out every single year now i did take baby girl in the store with me when i went to go pick up my order and i did let her pick out a few minutes. all right so first we're gonna go ahead and start with um the least favorite of all this one is just the one that I don't think I would ever pick up the full set again for this collection. It's just not my theme. This is Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower. Now this is the packaging from last year. This is Passion Fruit, Pineapple Leaves and Banana Flower. So this one comes out almost every single year. I think I did a um, like a project, use it up last summer or something, and I used up an older set that I had. And I did pick this one up at SAS. That is the only way I would pick this up is if I'm picking it up on like super, super sale at SAS for 75% off. And that is what I'm pretty sure I did with this. But this is not my favorite scent at all. I don't know. Something about this one is just a little bit weird on me. I don't really like the banana flower note in here i don't know it's very very tropical but it's just not my favorite it's not it's just not packaging is really really pretty on this year's and honestly sometimes i'd be tempted to get it just for the packaging but the scent alone to me is just not it um i would probably try to use up some of this uh sometime this year but as far as picking up the entire set that's never going to happen. Another one that I don't really love, but I don't 100% hate. This one is Waikiki Beach Coconut. This one is actually from last year as well. I picked this at SAS. This is Tropical White Coconut Saltwater Breeze um, Sun Bleached Wood. So this is a true coconut scent. Y'all know I'm not a big fan of coconuts. Coconut have to be done a certain type of way in order for me to enjoy it. This one is okay. It's not a horrible, but it's not like my all-time favorite. I don't need a backup of this or anything like that. Now, the packaging this year is really pretty. Um, I do have a mini of this. Well, baby girl does. She actually picked this one out herself. She wanted something green, so she went ahead and picked this one out. So um, I think it looks a little bit better than last year. But again, just not my favorite scent. So you won't ever see me like go crazy over Waikiki Beach Coke. next one, I do like it um way better than those last two and it's not horrible but it's just not my favorite pineapple scent ever but i do like it and i wear it this is pink pineapple sunrise so again i did not pick up the new um packaging but i do have the new packaging baby girl picked this one up and this is actually costa rica pink pineapple sunrise so yeah this is the new packaging um I think the new packaging looks a little bit better than last year's. Last year looked a little childish, just a little. Um, the scent notes in here are sweet pink pineapple, palm sugar, and sun-drenched nectar. So uh, this one is nice. 
it is extremely sweet though like this smells super 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 sweet almost like really sugary pineapple so if you think of like if you ever seen those candy coated pineapples like pink candy coated pineapples i feel like this smells like what that would taste like to me so it is nice but it's very very sugary like more sugary sugary than like sweet and juicy if that makes sense so i like this one but i don't love it if it goes on sale during sas i may pick up a back of some sort but i'm not 100 percent sure okay so this next one i actually really really enjoy I did not pick up the new packaging yet, but I am going to go through my collection and see what I have left in this scent. And if I don't really have much, I'll totally pick it up. But I do want to use up this mist or get halfway through before I try to bring this back into my collection because they've been coming out this with this one for years. The last four, these last four, they come out with every single year. These are not new. It's their staple tropicals. So this is going to be Fiji Sunshine Guava Teeny. I love the packaging on here. This packaging was so pretty. It's very cute, tropical. Like, I get it. This collection was beautiful. This one is actually from 2021. I love this one. This one does not actually have the scent notes on here, so I'll try to pop them on the swing screen. But this one smells amazing. Very, very sweet, tropical. I get a lot of guava in here. It's just really, really pretty. And I really, really enjoy this one. I think I finished up um, a bottle of this last year on one of my projects. This one is a hit every single time. I absolutely love it. So yeah. some new tropical, okay? This first one is new as far as body care, if I'm not mistaken. I know it came out in a candle. I wanna say it came out in a candle last year. This is Thailand Sweet Kiwi and Star Fruit. And this is what it looks like. Absolutely love this one. This is Golden Kiwi Juicy Star Fruit and Solar Woods. This one smells amazing. Now, this is one I can see myself getting a backup of. And like I said, this normally goes on sale for summer SAS. So that's probably when I'll get it unless they do like a really, really good body care sale, which I don't know that they will, but this one smells amazing. I get a lot of the kiwi in here and the star fruit kind of mixed together. I kind of get like a little bit of a solar woodsy note in here. It sprayed on my hand on accident. It smells amazing. It smells so good. Baby girl enjoyed it as well. So she picked this one up too. And I went ahead and used one of my reward points and got the shower gel as well. It just smells so good. I love it. I love it. And it's so strong in this shower gel for some reason. It is amazing. They did a phenomenal job with that one. And I'm so happy to have it. Now, another one that I want to say has never been out on body care, but it is a candle. And it is an online exclusive. So yes, I went ahead and purchased it online. This is Rio Pineapple Mango. So yes, this is what it looks like. Um, this is fresh pineapple juice, mango and vine ripened raspberry. I have had the candle before. I enjoy it. I knew I was gonna enjoy this scent and I do. This one to me smells like fruit cocktail mix. Like. I get the pineapple, I get the mango, I also get a little bit of that raspberry note in here. It is so, so good. Now, I did make an online purchase and I end up um, getting this and I went ahead and got this. So, this was also uh, free. This was free. I forgot what they were doing. I think they were doing like a, you can get a mist up to like $18.95 or something like that for free with a $50 purchase. So I went ahead and got this. I also used a reward point and got the shower gel. It smells so nice. It's super, super juicy. I get a lot more of the mango in the shower gel, but it is amazing. And honestly, that is a really, really good set. Um, I'm sad that they made it an online exclusive, but it is really, really good. All right, now that is per se everything that came out with this new tropical line, but they do have the brand new Tropidelic. Um, It's like the signature scent. So this is brand new. So again, this is Tropidelic. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous. 
This is Irresistible Passion Flower, Ylang Ylang and Misty Rainforest. Now, if I'm being honest, I wanted this for the packaging. Uh, the scent notes did not thrill me. It did not really put me, pull me in. And if I'm being honest, it's decent. It's not crazy. I feel like this one is definitely more perfumey than any of the other tropical lines. I see why this is like the signature line for spring, summer. It's nice. Um, if you like tropical stuff, I feel like this is giving me some sort of like coconutty vibe. It doesn't per se smell 100% like coconut, but it's giving like that very tropical, beachy type of situation. So yeah, I like it, but I'm not like head over heels for it. Um, the packaging is gorgeous. If it goes on sale for SAS, I would totally snag more of this. The uh, perfume bottle is gorgeous. But yeah, I feel like I like it, but it's nothing like I'm going crazy over. Now that may change, you know, once summer actually gets here and I wear it more, maybe that might change. But as of right now, it's cool. So that yeah. is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in another video. Bye.